Hey guys, so today Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.14.0 Build 5 release, so I'm going to be going over the tweaks and bug fixes in that version, as well as the tweaks for Build 4. So again, I did miss another build video last time I missed Build 2, and this time I missed Build 4. So before, I did combine the Build 2 and Build 3 videos, and I'm going to have to do the same thing with this, this video. And I posted about it on Twitter, just saying, you know, I'm really busy with some stuff right now, working on a new app for Android and iOS, and also working on some awesome new stuff for Mod Locator for MCPE. So I wasn't going to talk about it quite yet. I'm not going into detail in this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know because now that I have missed two videos, I just uh, thought you guys deserved to know because I've been a little bit behind. Uh, so if you're not following me on Facebook or Twitter, there's a link for that, or two links down below, uh, where you can follow me on either one of those social media platforms. But uh, actually, I didn't post about that on Facebook this time around, but generally I would. This time it was just on Twitter. So anyways, let's get into the update. I'm going to start off just going over with the tweaks in Build 4. I'm not going to go over the bug fixes for Build 4, but uh, the tweaks, I think, uh, should be good. So again, we're running into the same issue we ran into with Build 2, where it said... Uh, with build 2 it said build 1 at the top and it was actually build 2 this time it says build 4 at the top and it's actually build 5 so how that happens is beyond me because you know this stupid text stuff here at the top is like you know always kind of just visible you can't ever get rid of it or anything like that so you know you have to see it but somehow it's just getting by and they aren't changing the number so how they don't notice I don't know it's never really happened before but you know with 0.14.0 now it's happened twice so not a huge deal but it can be confusing for some people so just make sure you have the latest version in the Google Play Store and you should be good so let's go ahead and just load up a world here and I'll read off the different tweaks for build 4 after this loads if it loads there we go okay I got my little repeating thing down here anyways uh, so starting off with the build four tweaks so double ferns now spawn in cold climates all over the world uh, redwood forests, moss stone boulders are rounder uh, boats now appear exactly where the player has clicked or tapped uh, creeper explosions are now much stronger and consistent in power uh, naturally spawned villagers will have a, a lot more uh, variety of professions uh, updated translations to change them words is what they wrote <laughs> um, cannot harm zombies with a potion of harming anymore so not a whole lot of tweaks with that version uh, and usually as the you know updates and stuff progress we do see less tweaks and more bug fixes and that's exactly what we see with build 4 there's a whole slew of bug fixes that I'm not going to be going over but uh, with build 5 it's kind of the same thing not a whole lot of tweaks but a good amount of bug fixes so let's go off with the uh, the tweets here on the tweaks not tweets uh, here on build 5 so huge mushrooms shouldn't spawn in the water around roofed forests uh, the inventory for droppers hoppers and dispensers is more consistent with the other inventories uh, made loading a bit faster which I gotta say that's not really the case with build 5 because I just loaded up this world and it was kind of slow at least slower than usual but whatever uh, added the uh, journey to the west skin pack and snowballs now spawn when breaking snow with a shovel so cool stuff right there and uh, I was gonna add some stuff to uh, this little thing I made here that repeats uh, but I don't really know what to add to it at this point so anyways forget that I'm just gonna look at it at least and move on with uh, bug fixes so hoppers now work again in build 5 I don't know what I just did uh, hoppers now work again I didn't even realize that they didn't uh, it's not possible to remove items from item frames and survival without breaking them which I could have swore that was another bug fix like two updates or two two or three updates ago but whatever uh, entering boats doesn't place another boat anymore uh, destroying a boat doesn't destroy boats behind either uh, fixed mini sp uh, sprites uh, being visible in front of third person uh, fixed black artifacts and flat worlds uh, clients position is now saved correctly when they log out uh, which is a big one uh, rails cannot be properly uh, uh, rails cannot be properly be laid in adjacent parallel lines in east-west axis they kind of screwed up writing that one there but these people don't natively speak English so that's kind of why it's a little messed up sometimes uh, minecarts now push each other consistently and TNT doesn't appear anymore on clients so that is build 5 awesome stuff right there uh, I want to know what you guys think what is your favorite stuff out of either build 4 or build 5 I know there's not a whole lot of tweaks which is generally the most exciting stuff but uh, leave your comments down below for those that usually participate generally people don't but a couple people do uh, sometimes fairly consistently so anyways leave your comment down uh, comments down below and I hope to see you all in the next one thanks for watching